This is uh, part 16 of my Dawn Guard Assassin Archer Let's Play and uh, we're going off to do a quest uh, rescue um, so I've got to rescue Feline and kill a vampire master and hopefully I'll get time in this episode to go to Robber's Gorge which I'm really looking forward to doing this um, particular one uh, since the last episode so I'm just actually going to run and talk since the last episode all I've done is do a bit of um, cleaning up a bit of housekeeping uh, so I did um, some buying and selling um, handed in some quests back at Port Dawnguard basically I've done no quests since I, um, I did the last episode and um, I've got a few new things here so I've got um, now I've got exploding steel bolts of ice after I handed in the last episode the last um, quest I did and um, I went back to White Run and dumped some stuff off. Actually, while I'm here, what I'm going to use is this um, Orkish bow uh, for 213 damage and just my standard Elven dagger that I use all the time. So the Orkish bow is a bit of a funny one. It's actually, um, although you need 50 in smithing to take Orkish smithing, um, the Orkish bow is actually um, does less damage than um, an Elven bow or a Dwarven bow. Where's this quest marker? Yeah, so the, the Orkish bow is a weird one. It does less damage than a um, Elven bow or a Dwarven bow, but you need a higher smithing to actually um, to actually do it, use it, to actually smith it to its full capacity. Up there, quick look at the map. Oh, it's further around. Yeah, and it's actually more like a light bow. There's a couple of wolves there. There's a dragon in the front foreground I can see. There's three wolves. Is there or two wolves? Two wolves. Two for two kill cams. Right, let's keep going. Yeah, so the Orcish bow's um it's actually a fast loading bow. It sort of falls um like longbow, hunting bow, orcish bow, although the orcish bow is higher up the smithing tree than a dwarven bow. So we're up here. Hello, Mr. Elk. This particular cave I've never been to before. Why do these elks like to chase me around? You're lucky I don't need any antlers for ingredients, mate. And here we are. I've never been in this cave before. The second bit I want to do is Robber's Gorge. I have been to that a couple of times on other characters. So, let's see what we got in here. Let's rescue Feline. I think Feline is the house carl for the, um, the Markarth, for the Isle of Markarth. And I'm close to a level up. doesn't really matter much at this stage for this character because I haven't used, I think I've got 13 perk points there to use still. So what do we got here? We got a crystal on a pedestal, that's going to shoot something at me for sure. Fire or ice or something. Like I told you. Get out of here. And there's a skeleton off over there. Let's see if I can get rid of this thing quickly. high. I swap bows too much and I and they're different traje tra trajectories. I don't know why I can't say that word. There's a skeleton. So this is going to be full of skeletons, is it? That's just too easy. Here's another one. I like the way their eyes are lit up, then when you shoot them, they go out. <laughs> the quest mark is up there. Right. Yeah, that's the bad thing with swapping bows all the time, is um, the different speed that the arrows travel at, and um, the different trajectories that the arrows have, so they um, 
you're aiming at distances slightly different. There's a skeleton right there. Okay, there's voices in there, so there's more than one in there. Where do I go if I need to? I go back to the right and down the ramp if I get rushed. Well, let's put an arrow in there and see what's in there. There's one on the HUD. And there's one there. Well, that's too easy. I'm getting rushed. And he's down too. Well, that's just a... A walk in the park, really, isn't it? A master with a 200 bow. They need to. They needed to make this game harder. Maybe okay, he doesn't see him. Where'd these guys come from? Up here. What's up here? They got an arcane enchanter. What's that? Armor. The warrior's charge. Nothing. Worth 50. I'll take it. Uh, get on with it. Don't need any of that stuff. Okay, an adept lock. Let's get Faline out of here. Go higher or lower? Go lower. Ah, good choice. Good choice. I'd like to say that was skill, but in the ash pile, when I got to level up silver necklace, I'll have that. Come on, Faline. Get up. You came for me. How did you know? I thought I was gonna die in here. Thank you. Oh, I can't. I didn't Don't actually come for you. I'll be fine. Probably take more than you to make me come. Don't worry about me. Okay, she's done. We can get out of here. That's quest done, I think. I'll be fine. That's a quest. Quest done. Yep. Okay, so I'll pop that off. I'll put on this one and we'll should have time to go and do this quest. I'm looking forward to going to Robber's Gorge. But that's not the way we come in, but there must be another way out. Skeleton. And there's another one on the HUD. And here he comes. He's dead. Mushrooms. markers up there for you out. This cave must have multiple entrances and exits. Right, so we've got a... that's got a trap on it. Okay, from the side and the trap won't hit me. Black soul gem and gold. So there doesn't seem to be anything. Let's get out of here and let's get to, um... Oh. Oh, shit. That actually scared me. I actually jumped then. Let's go. Let's go to Robber's Gorge. And that was really good. I actually fast traveled then and didn't get actually done over by a whole pile of vampires. Every time I seem to fast travel at the moment, i got three vampires to deal with. And I haven't had a dragon for a while, actually, either. So where are we? Okay, down by the river here. There's a Nern root out there. Oh, you know what? I can't. I can't leave a Nern root sitting there. Why is there music? Is there something around me? Okay, let's see if we can fast travel out of here. Robber's Gorge. Map. Robber's Gorge is over here. So... We'll go up here. And just quickly before we travel, I'll crouch. Something's looking at me, so I'm not going to be able to fast travel. I can fast travel. I was expecting that to tell me enemies are nearby who can't fast travel. I can't 
come on. I thought it had crashed. I've had a few crashing problems actually with um, with Skyrim since um, Dawnguard has started. Since I've um, downloaded Dawnguard expansion. Where's Robber's Gorge? Down there somewhere. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm about to kill myself. Just as well you can strafe down sheer cliffs in Skyrim, which is really weird. No. Oh, no. fuck off. Alright, I've died. Come on, load the game and get on with it. Guess you've got to die somehow in Skyrim. And I got a level up to take. I think I'll take the level up in the next um, next episode. I'll probably just put the point into Magicka, I reckon. I'm thinking of uh, starting to run the down bow a bit more. Oh, we got a fast travel again. Okay. That means we haven't picked up that burn route. Have we? Yeah, we have. Well, there's an enemy somewhere around here. It's not going to let me fast travel. So, we'll try a different place so we don't fall off a cliff like an idiot and die. Jeez, I'll have to I'll have to cut this out. I don't think I've posted a video where I died yet. Okay, where are we? Where are we? Where's the quest? Ah. Hello, Mr. Giant. How's it going, buddy? A bit cranky? Alright, I'll run away. Leave you in peace. He's just lucky I'm uh Finished with alchemy, and I'm already got a hundred in alchemy, and I don't need giant toes to make expensive potions. Otherwise, that dude would be dead. Is that in the water? There's some dead body in the water. Okay, don't fall off the cliff again. Saber cats. Oh shit. Got a saber tooth? No, just an eye. Not even gonna worry about whatever that other was other thing was on the hut. I wanna get to Robber's Gorge and get this over and done with. So that's Robber's Gorge there. And it's bright daylight, so we're going to have to, um, um, last time I come here, there's a little cave down here. And the last time on another character I came here, I went in that cave, and it brings you up inside that, um, that hut there. But I'm not going to do that this time, I'm going to actually... Pick up some mud crab shit. Silver garment ring. So I'm actually going to run around the back here and um, see if I can get on this high ground over here and have a look in before I go in. Uh, we're going to get dragoned and I'm going to actually try and sprint away from Robber's Gorge because I don't want the dragon to actually alert all these guys. I really want these guys set in place to make it easy. Where's Mr. Dragon? He's going into Robber's Gorge. Great. Don't kill anyone down there, dragon. I want to kill people. Okay, he's alright. He's just pick someone up and shoot him up. So what have we got down there? That thing. That's just not going to be friendly, is it? 
If she's gonna do me a favor, she's gonna distract this dragon while I get a heap of shots on him for free. This is gonna be the easiest dragon, he's not even gonna get a look at me before I kill him. They need stronger dragons in this game. Like this is a 200 damage bow on master and that dragon's gone down in six shots. Fire salts. Did he actually kill that thing? He did. I can get fire salts there. I can make more exploding bolts for my um, crossbow. So let's go and have a look in Robber's Gorge. This is going to be a long episode by the look of it. Okay, there's Robber's Gorge. Quest marker looks like it's inside the hut up there. If we can peek over here without getting detected. Okay, something's detecting me. So we got one guy there. We got one, two, three on the bridge there. Alright. Let's make this dark and let's do it. And in the morning. Plus 12 hours is 10 o'clock at night. So I'm a bit stumped at the moment, the way I'm and hopefully this voice is a little bit better. Um, I've been struggling to get the uh, live um, commentary voice recorded nice for the last few episodes, so hopefully this voice comes up a bit better. Sort of playing with settings, but I don't really, I should test it a bit more. So let's look at this guy here. Let's actually see if we can run Detect Life. That guy's there, he should path back over to there, because that's where he was standing before. Let's see if I can run Detect Life without getting detected. Okay, there's six coming up with that. Yep, there's six of them. Alright. So those guys seem pretty stationary on that bridge, so... When this guy here paths back over to here, or moves back over to there, I'll jump down here and take him. And then we'll go in through the gate and see if we can walk out, work our way around to the bridge there. Because those guys on the bridge all seem to be looking out the other way. And this should bring me in behind them. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, Harvest Blood, I forgot about that. And those guys have all got alerted about something. I actually don't know that they're alerted over me. There must be something else around. Did you hear something? Oh. I'm gonna go invisible. I was just hearing things. Hey, there's one there. I should have opened the gate before I went invisible. Turn around. I'm sure you weren't standing there looking at the gate like that. Go back to whatever you were doing. Come on. Come on, turn around. Good girl. Ah, she's going to go to sleep and make it even easier. Yep, hop into bed. Sweet dreams, sweetheart. Ooh, I shouldn't have called her sweetheart with a hairstyle like that. I've probably just offended some viewer that's got a hairstyle like that. So I'm going to check what I've got here quickly. I'm going to put throw voice on. Um, I'm going to put... I've got detect life on. I'm going to have a risky detect life. Okay, there's one more there I didn't know about. Okay, there's the laggy bit that I'm getting now on the Xbox since this Dawn Guard thing. So those guys are all on the bridge and they all seem to be looking away from me. Um, where's the guy there? Okay, he's going to come straight at me. I'll just stay still for a second. I'm going to go with the bow, I reckon. I'm going to see if I can get an angle here where I can get a shot on all three of these guys here. 
much I can. So I'm going to take the guy that's furthest away first. Which way do they got to come to get to me? But they got to come down the stairs there, so. I'll take this guy here. And I'll go for the guy up here because he's closest to me. And then hopefully get her. Okay. That's pretty easy. Let's go back to the dagger. They run detect life. That guy's still down there oblivious to what happened and the guy in here is still doing whatever he's doing in there. So we'll go down here and quickly get this guy down the bottom and then we'll come back to the quest marker. What are you doing? Got your back to me. Don't turn your back on people. You'll get stabbed in the back, brother. Didn't they teach you anything at guard school? So there's our quest marker. Can I harvest any more blood? I can't harvest blood. Dark health blood. We'll have to run around all these guys and see what blood I can harvest, so... There was someone in here, but I'm now too close to them to run Detect Life, so... Swap that out for invisibility. And I'll go down to an invisibility potion. Where is he? He's right there. He might see me if I go through, so I'm going to actually go the invisibility potion. Jump into here. And just double check I got throw voice on. And I'll put throw voice out here and see what happens. And so that is job done. Done and done, as Serana would say. Let's pick up what we got to come for. That. Gold. Ring of lock picking is valuable. That's crap. Okay, that's it. And what did you have? Heaps of gold. The and a whole pile of heavy shit armor. Right, so that's it. Let's dance on the table in celebration. So we're done. End of episode. And if this is a bit of a weird episode, yes, I have had a couple of beers. Um, right, that's the end of this one. I'll um, catch you guys in the next episode. <laughs>